Good evening everyone. Welcome to the John Sarosa Homestead. Brief update on the rabbits. So I've repurposed the chicken tractor and made it into a rabbit rabbit pen. Um, so got the babies, the grow outs in here. And these are seven weeks old or six weeks old. I'm sorry, six weeks. The males are on the left. I've got a partition in the middle to separate them. So the males are on the left and the females are on the right. It's got wire on the bottom to keep them from digging, but you can see that they're eating the grass that's sticking through the wire. And this is where they'll spend the rest of their days until either they are sold to new homes or they go to the freezer. So I can sell them at eight weeks old. So they got two more weeks and then I can sell them as breeders um, to different people. And I've got a few people that are looking for does. So they're just waiting for these to get old enough. And probably around 12 weeks, the rest of them will be butchered and put into the freezer. I'd like to get our production down to eight weeks where I could butcher them at eight weeks and, and end up with the same amount of meat that we're getting at 12 weeks. Um, we're averaging about 3.8 pounds per carcass once we butcher them, which is, is good, but it's taking them 12 weeks to get there. So I'd like to see if we can get that down to 10 weeks. I've got some new potential breeders that are going to be added to the mix probably this fall, at least the does will. Um, the males, I'll probably go ahead and start adding them into the breeding program um, this summer. They'll be old enough. Um, but the two does that I have, I'm going to wait until this fall to start breeding them. Uh, one's a New Zealand black, or she's actually a brown color. And the other one is an American chinchilla. So we'll be adding them to the breeding program, and hopefully that will at least get us to 10 weeks getting the the weight that I'm looking for. So that's just a brief update on the rabbits. They're doing great. I had to get them out, and I'm gonna call this our grow out pen. Movable, it's on wheels. Um, got their waterers and got their large size feeder right there to feed them. I may add one more on each side just to make sure that they can eat as much as they want. Um, when me and my wife were coming up with a slogan <clears throat> and our farm in this pastured base we do pastured poultry and as you can see the rabbits are going to be on grass as well I'm going to build a movable pen for the, the quail so that they'll be pastured so we figured walking the green mile um, going after the, the, the movie the green mile so they stay on the green mile until it's time for them to um, either go as breeders to new homes or go to the freezer. So the rabbits have the potential to become breeders. The chickens, all of them that are on pasture, they're going to the freezer. And the quail, all of them that go on pasture, more than likely most of them will go to the freezer as well. Um, don't let the cuteness get in your way of enjoying um, some good, healthy protein. That's what rabbits are. I mean, they're, they're a prey species. Something's going to eat them humans might, might as well enjoy a good meal so if you're looking for some breeders let us know these will be ready in two weeks we have seven males and nine females females on the right and they're not quite three pounds right now I'm about two and a half pounds each I weighed a few of them and took the average so they're about two and a half pounds at six weeks So that's it, John Sarosa Homestead. We're walking the Green Mile, hoping the grass continues to grow as spring starts to set in. Y'all have a blessed evening, and we'll talk to you later.